It is a gorgeous April day and I just got back from the New Hampshire State Forest Nursery with a bag of a hundred black walnut seedlings and a bag with their Christmas tree sampler package. So today I'm going to try and get all those in the ground starting with the black walnut here which is going to go down the hill behind me in and amongst the red pines where we were doing some logging to get material for the barn floor. We have behind me here some maples that are making their way down the hill, filling in, and we're going to continue that, go down further, and plant some black walnut in and amongst the red pines that are still standing. So we've got our gear here in the tractor bucket. That's the bag of the seedlings from the New Hampshire State Forest Nursery. And then I've just got a couple shovels here, and that's really all I need to plant these. I'm so we'll warm up the tractor and then go ahead and drive it down the hill and park it as a base station for planting the seedlings up the hillside. set up base here. You could see we've got the swamp behind me and in front of me behind the camera is a steep hillside that's just red pine. We're going to plant those black walnuts in amongst those red pine trees. So this is what I mean. This hillside is all red pines and if we look up here you can see that these are just about done. I mean pretty much dead. They're providing a little bit of shelter right now which should help pr to protect these new seedlings. But otherwise there's no understory, there's no regeneration except for a few white pines as you kind of get down that way. And then if we spin back to the left there's a few white pines here and as you keep going back that way then you get into where those maples are starting to spread down the hill this way and so we're trying to just continue that regeneration with some black walnuts moving along the hillside. Having opened the bag the trees are in four bundles of 25 bare root seedlings so what I'll have to do is separate these and we'll separate them one at a time and get them into the ground here. Let's get started. Now the way that I'm planting these is just going to be to drive the shovel into the ground, open up a slot like that, take one of the seedlings, let those roots out down in that slot and then gonna come in behind just kind of push the soil back over a little bit squish that into the ground see if we can capture this up close here. Just jamming the shovel in, opening up a slot there in the soil. And we've got the seedlings just letting the roots hang down and spread out. And then right here is where it was buried. And so that's where we want to be at the top of the soil. So let me see if we can come in behind here. And this 
set that seed ring right in there. Let's pack that in. All right, so that's our basic process here. Lots of trees, bud, right? Here, you want to help me with this one? We have a lot of trees. Oh, want to help with this one? Can you grab it and kind of set it down here in the hole? There you go. All right, now, we need let's to smash the soil in around it. Push the soil up push and pack it in. Here it is. All right. Mission accomplished. We've got a hundred black walnut seedlings planted on the hillside behind me. Hopefully they survive. I actually didn't mark where they are so I won't even necessarily be able to find specific locations to check on them. So we'll just have to see how many black walnut trees continue to grow and, and monitor that over the next couple of years. But for now they're planted and we'll think about potentially adding some more or adding some other species, probably sugar maple, that's what I really wanna add down here uh, in the coming years.